vlog every day in August. So the hurricane pretty much just remained stormy. It didn't get really, really bad. The power blipped a few times, but luckily for us and for my parents, it didn't do any damage or anything like that. It was kind of an interesting hurricane. Lots of people are talking about how it didn't really do anything, and that's good. It's better to have a hurricane and be prepared and be concerned and then have nothing happen than to have a hurricane and not really prepare and then have a whole bunch of things go wrong. So, my sister was planning to have a trivia party, uh, but nobody came because it was a hurricane, so we played trivia, just the three of us, my sister, her boyfriend, and me. It was really close. We, we both had all of the pieces of pie. It was just Jen kept landing on the center and we kept trying to give her the hardest question we possibly could, but eventually there was a question that wasn't that hard. It was all about strategy. She landed on it with, with one move, so it was the easiest question. Strategy, man. But trivia has been a... It, the game of Trivial Pursuit has been a part of our lives since... for as long as I can remember, before me, actually. Uh, my parent, Our parents uh, used to get together, and still sometimes do get together, with their military friends. And I don't think it was weekly, but pretty often they would get together with their friends and they would play trivia. And it was kind of the way that they all became such good friends, because they would get together so often. And it was how their friends got, became friends with their friends, and yeah, it was like a nice little trivia network. And um, that I remember I used to play with the kids of the people who were playing trivia because I didn't play trivia when I was really small. So I just used the fact that the parents were playing trivia to go off and play games with the kids. And that was always fun. Um, and I, I'm still friends, still connected to a lot of those kids, but we've all grown up now. Um, and some of us are in the military, but not most of us, but some of us. And um, I remember the, the first time I think I ever played trivia, I think I just, I was really small, I was maybe eight or nine, and I just came into the room to ask my parents a question, I think, and then some of their friends decided they would use me to answer the, a question. So they like pulled me up on their lap or something, and then the question was about the Muppets, and the answer was Miss Piggy. And I remember, I just remember answering that, and that was the first time I ever played trivia. And I was really little, but, um, and then I started playing it. I started playing it on my parents' team, or sometimes on one of their friends' teams, like if they were short somebody or whatever. Um, and that was kind of how I got into it, and I, I've gotten pretty good, especially now that I've been in college, you know, it's a little easier to answer questions, because I remember when I was, when I was younger, like when I was in middle school, I didn't know the answer to a lot of things, but now that I'm a college graduate, I'm a little bit better. Um, we still didn't win, but we were close, and I, one of the answers was American Beauty. I haven't even seen that movie, and I still got it, and I got it right, and I was really proud of that. Um, and it was a question, like, this movie is centered on the main character, I already, it's like Lester or something. Can't, you, I can't even remember his name, because I haven't seen the movie, but it was, all the question was, was this movie is centered around this dude's midlife crisis. And I was like, American Beauty! I think, I'm pretty sure it's American Beauty, and it was, and I was like, ah, oh, that's awesome. So, uh, yes, but I really like trivia, and my dad and I are always telling each other, um, facts, or whatever, and then we say, that's a good trivia question. That's kind of become part of our thing whenever we're talking about a subject. But it's usually a subject that lots of people know about, like, uh, for a long time, the trivia question we always used to talk about was what are the names of, um, Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin in Beetlejuice, which I've talked about in a video before. But that is a good trivia question, because most people can't remember their names. Um, and like, what's Lydia's mom's name is another good one. What's Lydia's dad's name? That, I got my parents with that once, too. I don't know why my trivia questions are always based around Beetlejuice, but I really like that movie, so. But anyway, yes, I grew up with trivia, and so it was exciting to play during a hurricane, even though nobody else came. And, yeah, so now you know a little bit more about me. I grew up. And that's, that's part of, I don't know why I'm giving you a turtle, but, um, that's part of why I am very, um, obsessive about information about the things that I really like, too, I think, because my dad is like that, 
whenever my dad likes something, he really likes it, and he tries to learn a lot about it for trivia type stuff. I'm kind of like that too. When I know, when I like something, I try to know a lot about it so that I can be like a fountain of information whenever it comes up. So, which I know can kind of be annoying, but it's like Sarah Val always says, you know. Sarah Val said that she was never more at home than when she was looking something up. I really like her. That's part of why I like her is she's sort of a nerd fighter. She just doesn't know it. So, but anyway, that's that's what I did last night and today looks glorious, so I'm probably going to maybe go for a walk or something because it's really pretty. And it would be kind of nice to see what happened yesterday, like branches on the ground or something. There have been a lot of locusts lately. I think my mom said the 13-year locusts are out. But anyway, I hope you have a nice Sunday, and I will see you tomorrow.